Hi, my name is Chloe Miller, and I'm the program manager for the ISACA Foundation. I'm here with Somme Hoysimpar, one of our scholarship recipients. Hello, I'm good to talk. My name is Somme Hoysimpar, and I am a recipient of ISACA Germany Chapter Scholarship. This scholarship has been a catalyst for my professional and career growth and I am uh, really grateful for this opportunity and I am excited to share about my experiences, the challenges that I faced and my dreams with you all. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Sumay. Could you tell me a little more about what unique opportunities or experiences you've gained as a scholarship recipient? One thing that I can mention here is having access to different mentors, networking opportunities, and connecting with experts, which otherwise I wouldn't be able to have this connection with the experts in the field. Thanks for sharing, Sumay, and a shout out to the Germany chapter and all of your mentors. Um, could you share maybe one thing you learned from them? They provided me with different information, how to look for jobs, how to connect with different people in the domain. So this was something that I would have never gained if I didn't have the connection with experts in the field. So I'm really tr truly grateful for this opportunity because I learned a lot and currently I am working as full-time here in Germany and this happened because of this experience. Well, congratulations, Somme. That's great to hear. Find people who can help you with those skills early on is so important. And that's what we're trying to do as part of the ISACA community. Somme, can you please share with us what challenges you faced in your journey and how you've overcome them? Well, one of the challenges I have faced here in Germany was having a balance between personal life and professional life. So uh, one thing that I also had to do extra was learning German language. So this was one activities that uh, one of the activities that I am enjoying doing, but also it's such an extra work for me. So I had this problem of having balance between learning and uh, balancing my personal life as well. So I learned the time management and also having priorities in my life. This really helped me to overcome this problem. Okay, well, thank you for sharing. And looking ahead, what are your aspirations for the future and how do you plan to achieve them? Well, I have uh, different aspirations for my future, but one thing that I would like to keep is to learn more, keep on learning and staying updated in the field. Since I started my job, I think this is really important to still uh, be uh, connected with people and learning is one thing that would really help, help me to grow more and more in the industry. Thank you. And lastly, what advice do you have for ISACA in engaging and supporting students in the next generation? So I would like to give this advice to have this access to, uh, to mentors early on. And because uh, most students really lack and miss having connection with different mentors. But I, having ISACA uh, scholarship brings this uh, mentorship opportunity as well. That's a great point, Sue. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk about how ISACA scholarship transformed my journey in cybersecurity and machine learning. Sue, thank you and Dan Kishin for sharing your story and insights with us and letting us be a part of your journey. We look forward to continuing this conversation about IT education and workforce access. Thank you.